it's 90 degrees and it's time to test out my air conditioner recycling unit. I have followed the instructions to the letter. I've evacuated the uh, filter canister and uh, compressor portion so that that's all completely evacuated of any reminiscence from it sitting around. Evacuated my uh, empty tank so that it is ready for its new uh, refrigerant. So basically the the whole thing is completely empty. I've set the scale and I've uh, measured the empty tank weight and I've marked it on my tank. I'll also mark my refrigerant which is going to be R134 for all of the vehicles that I'm working on. Uh, it, it Maybe it's not the arguably the best but it is available and cost effective. I think it's a good compromise. So I've been running the machines mostly just vacuum pump. So this will be the first attempt to get the compressor and recovery unit portion of this Robin Air uh, 17700 style machine working again. I have run power outdoors and I just need to hook the high and low side and try and start the automated recovery process just a little bit on this vehicle. I bought this truck for the front bumper and some other various parts for my future shop truck, which is the short bed version. Uh, the motor in this truck is, is very cooked. I tried to put new bearings in it and it doesn't have oil pressure. There's lots of icky caking inside the motor. The transmission won't shift out of first gear. I will probably scavenge some more parts, but boy, the mosquitoes are fierce. It'll never be a running truck again. Uh, so we are going to use the charge that is in this system to uh, charge this system. Because right now there's no, re there's no refrigerant in it whatsoever. It, so I need to, I need something to start with. There should be a couple of pounds uh, and the machine is set to automatically count how much it collects. Hopefully that works. And if anything catches on fire, I have you here with me to see it happen. The instructions want me to run the truck uh, to uh, bring up the pressure in the high side to aid in recovery, but I'm not going to be able to do that because the truck is, is in disabled condition. It looks like I have uh, upwards of 50, maybe 52 PSI in both the high and low side. We're going to open both of those valves and uh, hopefully this will uh, allow us to turn the machine on. Start the recovery sequence. Oh, it says it's recovered half a pound of refrigerant. Amazing! 0.6. Well, this is good news. 0.7. Oh, but it's we're losing refrigerant real fast. The pressure is dissipating. The uh you feel any cooling of residual cooling? No, it's not a problem. I don't think there was a whole lot. Oh, we're still getting more though. Is it running? Oh yeah, the compressor's running. Oh, it's quiet. Oh, CPL. 0.11 pounds. 0.11 pounds. That's not a lot. Well, that was a little bit of a letdown. Maybe we'll try the Subaru. Some of you will recognize the fabled Subaru Outback. Uh, she has had the motor out several times. I don't know that I will ever get around to it again. And this machine is very important. So we're going to see if we can use this machine. Uh, it seems like there's considerably more juice in this moose. So uh, we want to confirm that it is uh, R134 and it is. We're going to open this up, open this up, turn her on, and we cover. You can see she's doing a real good job of pumping down and recovering that. Uh, yep, doing it. Here it comes a little bit at a time. 
and we are recovering. This is excellent, excellent news. These are the husks of uh, cicadas. That's what they look like after they've molted and flown away. And they love to grab onto uh, tree bark and rubber tires. They used to always be on the trees, but we have made them a lovely environment with these tires. And this is the Spitfire frame, if you didn't know. And it's missing one of the front suspension assemblies that's in the shop. And we got to get that put on there so this is easier to roll around. Let's check on how things are going with recovery at the Subaru. Okay, pressures are coming down. Uh, we've got over a pound recovered now. That's excellent news. There's no smoke, no smoke smell. Um, yeah, so uh, it's a shame that the car won't have air conditioning, but uh, the motor not running has that same effect. Oh, and of course we're recording, so turn the sirens on. One and a quarter pounds added to the 0.11 that we got off the other vehicle, which mostly was just a charge for the machine. Uh, we're at over a pound stored in this machine, which is, uh, what, I don't know, $11 worth. That kicks butt. I'm good with that. Uh, yeah, this is going to kick off pretty soon because we're getting down into where the, there's nothing left. Okay. Uh, that's great. Just the fact that it's all doing what it's supposed to. It's a good machine. Good, good machine. You are doing so good. I'm so proud of you. All right, it's done. This is me documenting so I don't forget. We got 1.32 pounds out of the Subaru. That's uh, excellent news. Okay, I guess we wrap this up, take it back to the shop, and it will be ready. I've got parts on order for the, our Jeep and for Buff Del Campo's Mercury. Uh, so within the next few days, we should hopefully be able to put this machine to work. We're charging up a, a vehicle and uh, running it through some more paces. But so far, so far, the smoke has stayed in. And that is a big, big win.